The US State Department is calling for accountability. That's after Israel admitted that there is a, quote, high possibility that its soldiers gunned down a prominent Al Jazeera journalist. Israel made the announcement after it concluded a probe into the events surrounding Shireen Abu Akhla's killing in May, when she was shot dead while covering an Israeli military raid in the West Bank. It appears that it is not possible to unequivocally determine the source of the gunfire which hit Mos Abu Akhla. However, there is a high possibility that Mos Abu Akhla was accidentally hit by IDF gunfire that was fired towards suspects identified as armed Palestinian gunmen. Despite the finding, the Israeli military's top legal office says it will not be launching a further investigation due to the lack of criminal suspicion. However, the soldier allegedly responsible for the killing has reportedly apologised. That's according to an Israeli military official. Abu Akhle was shot dead while covering an Israeli raid on the Jenin refugee camp in the occupied West Bank, despite being clearly identified as press. Several investigations by humanitarian organisations and the United Nations concluded she was killed by Israeli fire. However, an official U.S. probe has not reached a, a definitive conclusion as to who pulled the trigger, sparking criticism from Abu Akhla's family, who were incredulous about the findings. Political science professor Syed Naina has slammed the Israeli investigation and says that the killing was intentional. Finding that the Israeli are announcing are absolutely have nothing to do with the reality and they are trying to justify what happened. And the, this issue of that the soldier apologized, this is absolutely ridiculous. There is an incident happened and it was intentional because not only Shirin Abu Akhle and also another uh, journalist who was with her, who was shot in his back, they were targeted by a sniper. It was 100 meters only the distance. Uh, he can identify them with the clear gear that they are wearing, especially the helmets and the press, which was so obvious on their chests. There are thousands of cases which was uh, filed uh, against the Israeli army in, in, in unintentional killing, and uh, only six or seven uh, out of those were investigated. So uh, usually the Israeli army don't take any responsibility when it comes to the occupied territories with the Palestinians. Because by the end of the day, Israel knows that they can get away with anything they can do without any uh, uh, questioning. The idea that the Israeli think that they are above the law, above the international law, and they can't be questioned.